to associate with them just because they want to become a fan of them. So mm -hmm. it, it, it is really interesting. I see a lot of the big companies try to use it as marketing where if, if you come across as direct marketing with that, you're a uh, secure fan. Yep. And, and to your point about, about big brands or, or even small brands, trying to do this and, and botching it. Um, one, of the, one of the things I've struggled with personally is, is when you are applying social media to a brand for the first time. Um, we look at other people's Twitter accounts, other people's fan pages, and I don't know about you guys, one of the first things I look at is how many people are following them. Can I, can I assign credibility to them because they've got over a thousand followers? Or good gosh, I mean, this guy's got over a million followers. He must put out some really good stuff. If I come across, um, say Best Buy. Best Buy, I think one of the greatest examples of, of how to use Facebook. Um, I'm not gonna pull it up here, but if you wanna check that out. Best Buy does a tremendous job of, of using Facebook in a way that benefits their consumers. Um, it isn't an obvious direct marketing or advertising. They've got, I wanna say, three million fans on Facebook. If I went to follow Best Buy on Twitter, and I saw that Best Buy had less than 500 followers, I would, I hate to say it, I would, I would kind of pass judgment and say, man, these guys, aren't, these guys are incredible. They're not doing something right. They're a big, recognizable brand, and I am applying credibility and legitimacy to that brand based on how many followers they have. So one of the things I've struggled with is, is applying social media to, to a new, um, or not to a new brand, but to a brand that, that hasn't used social media before. How do I, how do I get that, that number of followers up quickly? How do I get a lot of fans on, on Facebook up quickly? Um, because I want to minimize that time frame when, when people are seeing it for the first time and, and seeing, man, there's, there's just nobody following these guys. Somebody botched this. You know, somebody messed this up. So I don't have any answers for that, but that's, that's certainly a conflict that, that I, I see quite a bit as well. Thanks, ma'am. Yes, in the back. Sure, sure. Yeah, that's that's uh, that's interesting. Yeah, thanks, thanks for sharing that. And, and I think, you know, I would I would I would tie that back into this idea that that social media is making our jobs more complicated. We've got to keep up. My guess is from from that experience, that's something that they implemented two years ago and thought, hey, we've got to get involved in Facebook. We've got to leverage this this user base, this consumer segment, um, and they stopped innovating. They weren't moving with with the social media, you know, I'm not gonna call it a trend, nobody throws stuff. Um, they weren't moving with it. And so that, that's, that's just the first thought that, that comes to mind when hearing that, that um, brands are responsible. And, and us as representatives of those brands are responsible for once we put this stuff out there, continuing to innovate, continuing to, to use it and to, to commit to it. Again, you know, I'll, I'll use blogs as an example here. <laughs> Um, nothing's more annoying to me than find, finding a phenomenal uh, blog writer who's just offering tremendous content. He's got 25 blog posts and decided he couldn't keep up with it anymore. He didn't, he didn't understand when he started that blog, this is a commitment. This is going to take a lot of time. It's going to take a lot of investment. And so, again, yeah, it's, 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 it's complicated. It's tough, and it, it requires commitment. So I don't, I don't think anybody would disagree with that. Any other thoughts, questions? Yep. Or even as brand loyalty, is maybe it's 
I know for our company, we've been trying to build a social culture and we're a much younger company than others out there. Um, and so we're really trying to push forward that you know, you're a fun company to work for and to be a part of and that you care about our customers and all that stuff. And so I think that that's part of what we are gonna be doing and what other people might use social media to promote as well as they have some sort of social culture that they want to get out there. Totally. Like Star Trek Airlines or you know, any of those that have that crazy people might love their company so much. <laughs> right. <laughs> no, that, that's, gosh, I'm sorry. But am I coming through really loud? I have a tendency to put these things right on my mouth. Um, I always go back to, to Zappos. If, if anybody's read my blog, and it, I started my blog, you know, it just in the last six months or so, but, but Zappos is a company that I just have so much respect for. Um, not, not only with their, their, their customer, customer service commitment, but their internal culture. And they're a perfect example of somebody that's used Twitter specifically. Um, I don't know that it's a requirement. I know, I know you guys at Shipple are, I mean, every single one of you guys are, are on Twitter. Um, I think Sweet Leaf Tea earlier today, um, they, don't, they don't tweet as Sweet Leaf Tea. They tweet as David at Sweet Leaf Tea or David, David at Idea. Um, and, and what they do through that is they communicate their culture. They show, man, our employees love working here. We're not going to get on Twitter and try to sell to you. Tony, um, Tony from Zeppos actually said, I'm not using Twitter for measurable data. I'm not using Twitter to try to sell. I'm using Twitter to try to give my employees an, an, an opportunity and an outlet um, to, uh, to speak to our customers, for our customers to be able to see who, who we employ and what, what our culture is like. So yeah, I think, I think that's a great strategy and one that I, I personally would, would um, <laughs> definitely jump behind if you feel like you have a strong internal culture. So, Any other thoughts, questions? Cool. Well, guys, thank you so much um, for giving me the opportunity to come in and talk with you guys. Um, and uh, I will be hanging out here if you want to chat a little bit more. Um, and uh, again, um, I am a huge, huge social media advocate. I'll be tweeting about this afterwards. I've, I've read a blog. Um, I'd love to kind of continue the conversation after that. So um, at any rate, thanks a lot. I hope you guys enjoy the rest of the conference.